Welcome to another episode of the Geotechnical Engineering Podcast. I'm your host, Jared Green, and in today's episode, we're going to be breaking new ground on the topic of remote work opportunities within the field of geotechnical engineering. Now, as the industry evolves, so too does the way we work. We're going to explore different types of geotechnical engineering jobs that offer the flexibility to work from home or work from the field or whatever it is you may be. Uh, we're going to discuss how the industry is adapting to this new work model. We're also going to dive into the tools and the technologies that facilitate this transition. But before we get started, let's hear a quick word from our sponsor for today's episode, that being Tensar, a division of CMC. Check out Tensar Plus, the award-winning design software for construction professionals to design with geosynthetics and calculate their value on projects. Tensar Plus is simple to use with a powerful engineering system at its core. It leverages our decades of research and experience with soils all over the world, so you can count on your solutions working the first time, even in the most difficult conditions. Whether you're designing a crane pad or need to build a temporary road over muck, the cost, time, and carbon savings can be calculated, making comparison with alternatives simple. Specs, reports, and product data can be generated for your design, and training resources, research, and our third-party expert reviews are all provided conveniently in the software if needed. Usable both online and offline, the app is available in browser and on all major mobile platforms. Whatever you're working on, Tensar Plus is your toolbox for success. Exploring remote work friendly roles. Our first stop on this remote journey takes us to the heart of geotechnical projects, data analysis and modeling. Traditionally a hands-on field, engineers are now seamlessly transitioning to remote work. But how, you may ask, and that's by harnessing the power of computational tools to simulate soil behavior, groundwater flow, rock behavior, and soil structure interaction with the geology from the comfort of their homes or remote offices. Next up, project management. Geotechnical project managers are becoming remote leaders, mastering the art of coordinating access across geologies and across geographies, across countries and across states and counties. So join us as we explore the digital tools and strategies that are ensuring projects stay on track, within budget, and that engineers are communicating effectively regardless of the physical distance. And let's not forget the consultancy and design aspect. Consultants are offering expert advice, conducting peer reviews, and developing design solutions all without the need for constant site visits. The occasional site visit, maybe not there every second of every day. Virtual meetings, shared insights, and remote presentations are now the norm. It's a whole new world in geotechnical engineering. Tools facilitating remote work. So how are we making all this possible? It's all about the tools. Collaboration is key and platforms such as Slack, Microsoft Teams, and Zoom have become indispensable. Real-time communication and project collaboration are now at our fingertips, connecting geotechnical teams across different locations. And speaking of fingertips, Geotechnical software has taken center stage. Advanced tools like Plaxis, GeoStudio, and RockScience can be accessed remotely, empowering engineers to perform complex calculations and modeling from the comfort of their homes. Let's not overlook the cloud. Cloud-based platforms are the backbone of remote work, providing easy access to large data sets and computational resources essential for handling the data-intensive nature of geotechnical projects. Navigating challenges and seizing opportunities. Now, transitioning to remote work isn't a smooth road. We face challenges, maintaining team cohesion, managing projects across time zones, ensuring data security, and dealing with the isolation of remote work. But in adversity, there is always opportunity. And this shift brings unprecedented challenges of work-life balance, accesses to broader talent pools, and reducing environmental impact from commuting. As we navigate challenges, we also seize these opportunities 
for a more flexible and sustainable future in geotechnical engineering. So today we've embarked on a short journey through the remote realms of geotechnical engineering. The evolution is undeniable, and as we embrace these changes, we shape a future where physical boundaries no longer limit the possibilities in our field by embracing flexibility, leveraging technology, and reimagining how and where we work, we're paving the way for a more dynamic and inclusive and sustainable future in geotechnical engineering. I hope you enjoyed the episode today. We would love to hear your feedback, comments, and or questions. Please feel free to go to geotechnicalengineeringpodcast.com where you'll find a summary of the key points discussed in today's episode, as well as links to the resources, websites, or books mentioned during this episode. Until next time, I wish you the very best in all of your geotechnical engineering endeavors. Peace.